Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's explore changing the desktop background. So to change your desktop background, it's pretty simple. You go to System Preferences, and then you choose Desktop and Screensaver. An alternative way to get here is simply control click or right click on the desktop and choose change desktop background. It takes you to the same place. Now once you're there make sure you choose desktop not screensaver and then you have a lot of different choices here. There's some standard Apple desktop backgrounds in many different categories here and you can choose any one of them simply by clicking on it and it changes your entire desktop background. When you're setting desktop backgrounds using the system preferences, you can also set a different one for every monitor you're using if you have multiple monitors. So for instance, you can have one with a picture on it and another one with a solid color. In addition, there's also this very misleading one here, solid colors, and you'd think there'd be a color wheel where you can choose, but in fact, there's only 10 different colored backgrounds that you can choose from. So you can choose your own image as a background one of several ways. You can choose iPhoto here and it will list the photos in your iPhoto collection, you can even dig down by event and by albums. You could also look under folders and in there you'll find by default the pictures folder which is in your user folder pictures and you can see any photos that are in there. If you want your desktop background to be a recent photo that you took, you can create a smart album in iPhoto that say shows all your photos from the last month or two and set that to be the folder which a picture is randomly chosen from. You can add your own folders filled with photos into here by simply selecting the folder, like this one called More Pictures, and dragging it into here. And now you can select the photos in this folder and update the photos in there as you wish. Now this gets very useful when you choose some of these other options down here. Here you can choose to change the picture and have it rotate anywhere from five seconds to every day or simply every time you log in or wake from sleep. So if I change it to say every five seconds, I'll see that this photo back here is going to change very quickly. And If you have an entire folder filled with pictures, it'll have these constantly rotating desktop backgrounds. Another way to have your own custom desktop background is simply take a photo from the finder here and drag it into this area and drop it. One of the things that bugs me about the solid colors choices is that there's no black. Sometimes on an LCD screen it's nice to have a solid black background. That's how I prefer to work. So how do you create your own? Say you don't have an image editing tool and you can't create a simple uh, just solid black background. One of the tricks I use is to simply screen grab. So I'm going to use the default command shift 4 to grab just a piece here inside of the MacMOS logo and what I'm going to get on my desktop is this screenshot image right here and I can just simply drag and drop that into here and I've got my black background. I can also of course add it to the pictures folder or any custom folder I've added here so it permanently appears there. Also, if you ever want to alter what these default folders show, like nature, plants, art, etc., you can go into your Mac hard drive level in the library folder and you'll find desktop pictures there. So I also want to point out what happens with the screen sizing choices. So here I've selected a custom image and I've set it to fill screen. Now if I change it to fit to screen, you can see it's more of a square like image so I've got left and right cut off. I can change it to stretch to fill the screen and it's going to distort the image. The fill screen option will actually cut off parts of the top and bottom so that it all fits in the screen. I can also select center and it will show the image in its regular resolution here centered and I can select tile as well which doesn't work well with this image but some patterns it will work great with. So I know I'm going to get asked about using video as your desktop background and yes there are ways to do it. You can use third party programs. One such one is called Mock Desktop. So if I run that it'll show me a quartz animation uh, that can be used as your desktop background and actually you can choose from many different quartz animations there. It also allows you to choose a QuickTime video either your own or one that it has as a sample. We'll see what that looks like. And you can even choose a web page like MacMost as your 
background and it'll just load up that web page uh, there and on your desktop. Even has an option for adding desktop widgets onto the background. So I hope you liked this look at the various ways that you can set your desktop backgrounds and create new background images. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.